the prince of the power of the air. The Holy Spirit of God is warning of a new advanced technology, a weapon of Russia and China. A weapon so powerful that its power is in the air to where it can shut down all weapons, missiles, rockets, nuclear weapons, planes, warships. The Holy Spirit of God is warned of this advanced technology that is coming that is so powerful that it can shut down every weapon in the air, the sea, and upon the land. The Prince of the Power of the Air to shut down every weapon that can be used against them. It's coming, my friends. It is coming. The Holy Spirit of God also gave a warning of Russia and the judgment of Russia would burn. And a dear friend of mine, like child, sent to me the confirmation today in my email of parts of Russia on fire. You've not seen anything yet, my friends. Judgment is coming upon the nations. It is coming. I wanted to get this out there. It wasn't a very long warning, uh, but do keep your eyes on the weather. Uh, we will see rare events in the weather and the storms. I mean rare events. You're going to see snow out of season. You're going to see large hail growing larger and larger. Rare events and flooding. Places that normally do not flood will flood. Houston, flooding is coming your way. Rare events are coming, my friends. Watch for the signs. God bless you, church, today. In Jesus Christ, most holy name. We pray. My friends, I want to share something with you. That the Holy Spirit of God was speaking to me this morning in my closet, in my prayer closet, and it was strange the things that he was saying to me. He said to me, there are seven churches. And I said, that's right. He said, five have fallen and two remain. I said, that's right. He said, but they all started out full of the Spirit of God. The Spirit of the Lord, the oil, was in their lamps in these seven churches. I said, that's true. He said, but they all may be of the same Spirit, of the same body, just like Adam and his wife. She was bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. She was of his Spirit and of his soul. But even though they were one, she made a choice of her own. And he made a choice of his own because God gave his creation a free will. And I said, that's right. So you see that with a free will, they were free to make their own choices. But they had the spirit of the Lord to influence them to make the right choice. But they were influenced by another voice, an outside voice of the serpent. So was the seven churches. Five of them were influenced. But remember, Donna, they all have a free will. And I said, my Lord, I have the balance in my hand because there must be an even balance with God. God holds everything within a balance. And I'm aware of that balance because you taught me that many years ago. And I don't make my choices so easily. I weigh my options. I look into the choices that I'm going to make and the outcome of those choices. And I heard the Holy Spirit said, well done, Donna. I've been watching you. I know that you don't take your choices and your decisions lightly that you weigh the balance. I said, that's right. 
He said, but you see that five of the churches have fallen away from the influence. But remember, they made these choices freely of their own free will. But there are two. But even though I say two, it is not just two. It is a multitude of people that have made conscious choices to lay down their life for the word of God. And for their testimony, that they love not their lives until the death. And the church that holds on to the commandments of God and loves God with all their heart, their soul, their mind, and their strength. And Jesus has given them a key to open and close the power of binding and loosen, because he sees that these churches have made their choices. They have weighed the balances. And they know their choices they don't take so lightly. I said, that's right. I agree 100%. He said, now let us go to the ten virgins. You have five that are foolish and five that are wise. But they all started out the same. Did they not? They all had lamps. They all had oil. But the five foolish allows their light to be put out. He allows the darkness of this world and their oil is spent. And they are not watching. They are no longer ready. They are no longer prepared. They have fallen back. They are in a sleep. But yet they all sleep. But not all sleep the same as the others. I said, I agree. I agree. But there is a message that will go out at the midnight hour, Donna. And this message is a startling message that is so fearful that it wakes all of the virgins up from the sleep that they are sleeping. They are awakened suddenly that the cry of the bridegroom is here. It is too late. They don't have time to prepare themselves. Those that are ready and prepared, that were watching, heard the news because it woke them up out of slumber, out of sleep. And they went in with the bridegroom and the door was shut. Now the foolish are left in the darkness of this world. I said, yes, my Lord, I did a study on that, and I'm going to release that video on the bri on what you showed me on the church. He said, remember, it is all about choices. You have a free will. You cannot say to God, why did you allow this to happen? Why am I here? Why has all these things happened to me? You made the choices. You did not weigh the balances of those choices that you made. And I said, I see, I do. I understand what you're saying. You see, my friends, a long time ago, I knew about the balances. God's all about the balance. There is a fair balance with God, and you got to weigh those options. You do. You've got to make those choices. You've got to look to the end of both of those choices. You can't just go out and make a choice and a decision so lightly and so easily. you got to take the time to sit and meditate on those choices that you're going to make. That's why the enemy wants to move you so quickly, to make you believe that you got to act now. Right now, you got to move now. Make your decision right now. No, I ain't a moving hastily. I know better than to move and make a hasty decision that later on I'm going to regret. Take the time with the fair balance of God because there is a balance with God and weigh your options. See, that's what's going on in the world right now. There's chaos because people are hasty. They are acting in their flesh. 
they are moving too quickly because the enemy is moving them. And that's what we see with the seven churches. How easily is the spirit of the Antichrist moving you to make wrong choices? Take the time. Take the time. Because if you'll take the time and you don't move so hastily in your flesh, you'll see a whole different outcome. I promise you, you will. It's not easy, my friends. I didn't learn this all in a day. It took me years. Years of falling short of that glory of God. But getting back up and continuing on and learning from your mistakes. You see, we learn. I asked the Holy Spirit, so pretty much are we an experiment? <laughs> he said, no. God is a creator, but he created different scenarios. They are many heavens. And every heaven, they are all one. All connected to all heavens. But in, even though they are the same, bone of their bone, flesh of their flesh, just like Adam and his church were one. They were all one. But God watches over his creation to see that even though you're one. Let's say there's one, there's a lot of Donna's. I'm going to tell you how he told me. Let's say the whole heavens are all Donna's. And they all look like me, have my soul, have my spirit. But yet God watched that not all of those Donna's made the same decision. To me, it sounded like an experiment, but the Holy Spirit said it wasn't. That it was that God wanted to see that everyone was equal. Equal. The seven churches are all equal. They're equal in power. They're equal in strength. Not one is above the other. Not one is beneath the other. They are all equal in every sense of the word equal. That they are all one. One can't say, well, this one was given more. That one was given less. No. God made them all equal. Just like Adam and his wife. But even though you were the same, everyone made a different decision made a different choice and I said that's some stuff right there boy that's some stuff <laughs> that's amazing though when you think about what God was doing that he wanted to see even though you're the same the ten virgins the seven churches everyone made a different choice even though you were all the same. Mm, that's some stuff. That's amazing right there, church. Think about it. Just meditate on that good word. God bless you today, my dear precious friends. In Jesus Christ's most holy name, we pray. Amen.